one thing that I'm very interested to know is what goes in your mindset before entering that ring. Okay. Is your heart pounding? Give us the raw emotions okay. that goes in a athlete. So yes, mind. the heart does pound, but I'll say mainly it's all about your breathing. You know, people neglect their breathing. Is the moment they lose the track of their breathing is when the heart pounds the most. So when you enter the ring, it's a very different scenario. Like, trust me, everything will be muted. Like, let's say your friends, your family, your coach is cheering for you, and the audience, it all fades away. You just zone in. It's just you, your opponent, his breathing, and your breathing. And the moment the bell touches, everything fades out. See, the pressure is gone. Yeah. But the main pressure is before the fight. Like, you know, the before you sleep, before the anxiety. And main thing, you know, all these attacks were our gut. It all attacks our gut first. Mm -hmm. So that's what they say. Why yoga like plays a very important role in breathing. I, I believe breathing is the main factor. Because through breathing, half your stress, your heart rate, everything like, settles. When people can't, you know, focus that, yeah. they lose control and they become anxious. Yeah. And when they become anxious, that game can get spoiled. So the calmer you are, the better you can. Yeah. But so I have two scenarios on that. Okay. You've entered the ring, your heart is pounding, like you said. You knock in the opponent first. Okay. And you win the fight. Okay. What goes through your mind versus when you lose a fight okay. and you've got punched. I so, would like to yeah, just compare yeah. both the scenarios. So when you win, it's yeah. it's overwhelming, right? Yeah. Like it's it's just a big achievement of your life and like you see your loved ones calling and like everyone being with you and just feel so wholesome. Same case, if you lose like, I'll be very honest, for me, first of all, a winner is one who steps up in the ring because it's not easy task for anyone to, you know, step up and take a fight. So for me, a winner basically is the one who takes the fight, okay? When we speak about losing, you never lose. You will, in fact, learn. No winner can learn unless they lose, right? So if you're losing, you're going to adapt yourself into a better training. You'll speak better, like, you know, you know, ask more questions, you know, work on your mistakes and then become a better champion. Inspiring, yeah. <laughs> And what the same journey now that you're coaching people and students, you're outside the ring and you're seeing your students <laughs> step into the ring. So that still gives me so uh, now like uh, a week back, like uh, I couldn't attend your events also because of this. My yeah. five kids were playing uh, MSS like inter school MSSA, yeah. and uh, so I, I trained this uh, this girl since almost uh, almost a year, yeah. and she's like she's fourteen. And uh, so she has never like been into a stage and like even she's young and I remember from my point when I used to compete during that age. And when she was entering and you know she was all nervous. And like I won't lie, like that gave me also a butterfly in my stomach. Like you know she, she's gonna play and like because you know we are so possessive and we are so protective about our You're so invested in invested, the yeah. so, like you know and we, it's not even that like we all know people have more very hard and common. Yeah. Like even the opening, I'm of course, I mean, she has worked really hard. Yeah. But see, end of the day, it's all about your work versus their work, your ethics and your morals and your values yeah. put into the person. So I, so I tell all of them, it's not about you winning or losing. It's about, you see, you win a life is by doing all this. You're a winner. Tomorrow you can share the story throughout your whole life. You can share a story that you, you know, you went in, you played. See, you winning and losing is a secondary thing. Yeah. You yourself are a winner once you have taken up that challenge. 80% of life is just showing up. It's just showing up, yeah. Yeah. And how long does the training camp was there for the 14-year-old student? Oh, for them it was student? rigorous. It was for yeah. three months. Like, yeah. But, but I see this is what I like about them. They yeah. were so, like the consistency was so well done, well input, their game flow, everything. Even the opening they went against were a really high experience player. Come, uh, like consider they were the newcomers. But yeah, they, they did reach finals. Uh, but yeah, things were like really well. Like for me, in my eyes, they all were winners. Makes you proud. I, it makes me.